I put the bracket on there, I tried the table, and unfortunately, this piece of plywood bows a little bit, and the table actually comes down at an angle. So, definitely not gonna work, not happy with that. Like I said, I'm no professional. I'm just here kind of showing you guys what I'm doing. What is up, y'all? My name is Jesse. Thanks so much for joining us on this video today. This video is going to be a project day. We have a lot of projects on this new trailer because we're trying to get it completely decked out and as ready to go as possible before our first baby comes aboard. We have been traveling full time for three years and we plan to continue that uh, once we have a baby in our travel trailer. One thing that we did not like about this 2022 Grand Design Imagine 2910BH was the table legs. The table's nice, it's a good size, we like the material, but we don't like that our feet have to touch these legs. You can't extend your legs across, and it just makes it a little difficult to get in and out. The table is not attached, so it does need to be strapped down, just another step on moving day. So, our good, good friends, Dan and Barbara, actually reached out to us because they had a lagoon table leg that they were not using. So that is this here. How do you say it? Lagoon? Lagoon? I don't know. Anyways, this is a fully adjustable table leg. So basically, you attach this bracket to somewhere that is strong. You can move it up and down, and then also the, it swivels, and the tabletop itself swivels. And then you could just lock it in any direction you want. So what we like about this is that we are not gonna have table legs underneath anymore and then it can very easily move side to side, round to round. First off, I want to say a huge shout out to Dan and Barbara for sending this over to us. Obviously, it is used. They are full-time travelers and they recently are uh, overseas. They plan on going over there for a while, so they put their RV in storage. This was already in storage. They were not using it, so they shipped it out to us. So they do have a YouTube channel, so I'd say check that out. I'll link it in the description below, but thanks a lot, guys. We appreciate it. Here is our table, here's the setup. What we don't like is that these legs kind of take up a lot of room. The table needs to be strapped down for transit and it's kind of awkward sitting down, especially when Melissa has a larger belly as it grows. So we are gonna plan on mounting the table leg back there. So this piece back here is actually a removable ottoman and we want to keep that removable in case we need extra seating or if we want that for whatever reason so the goal is to build a plywood section of three quarter inch plywood in front of that to where we can still remove that ottoman and we are going to attach the lagoon leg onto that giving us much more flexibility Obviously, this bracket slides in and you can get additional brackets like if you wanted to have one installed here and then you could maybe install one here and have a table over here as well. You could just pop the table out and use it where you like. So this leg does go up and down, which is nice. You get some adjustment there. You lock it down with this guy. Uh, the table does swivel. So the whole table itself will be able to move side to side. And then on top of that too, the table top itself swivels as well so a lot of adjustability it's very fluid and i've only heard good things about these table legs we will link this leg on amazon even though we did not buy it on amazon we'll link it for you guys in case you're curious so basically we're going to build a piece of plywood across the front here to give us a nice solid mounting spot for the table leg so basically i'm just going to measure the width and the height cut some three quarter inch plywood get it stained and get that all tacked into place just like that movie magic got my piece of wood cut fits in there perfectly i just gotta leave enough gap so that i can get this thing out so i don't want it like so tight like that just a little tiny gap there and then the plan is to screw it in from underneath the bench i know on the top of the bench 
and at the bottom of the bench there are studs so that should firmly mount there so I have the new table like here and I'm trying to measure how far out we want this table before I screw this onto the tabletop. I'm just going to kind of sit here, hold it in place. The height doesn't matter yet. Depends on how far I want this table to stick out, which I don't want it to stick out. So I'm trying to hold it where I would want it so I can get a quick measurement. This is kind of what we're looking at now. It's a much cleaner space. Got our piece of plywood mounted. Got our lagoon uh, table bracket mounted to the wall there. Now I just got to try to get this slid on by myself. Hopefully I can do that. Stuff happens. I put the bracket on there, I tried the table, and unfortunately this piece of plywood bows a little bit and the table actually comes down at an angle. So definitely not gonna work, not happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually build like a fake wall here just to give it more support. So we're gonna run these, we're gonna attach these to our original plywood, um, and then we're gonna do a vertical one right there and it's all gonna be attached and we're gonna sandwich it with another piece of plywood and then that should actually give it enough structure because you can kind of see right here, I had a feeling when I put one in that it wouldn't be enough. Adding this one by two or one by three, whatever the heck it is, and another sheet of plywood and staining it all again should do the job. So this is just gonna give it much more support. It's basically like I built a small wall. So these are all gonna get sandwiched together, screwed, stapled, glued together. And then now I should have the strength that I need and it gives me additional mounting points on the sides. I think that was part of the problem too. So hopefully this does the job. All right, all right. Got it all finished up. Don't mind my tools under there. But basically, this is the table leg. So it fully floats and you can spin it you can pull it either direction it's really nice and fluid so it's easy to get in and out of the table just gives you more versatility your feet aren't going to be hitting the table legs anymore if you want to get up you can just move it over and then what's nice is you can put it here and then you can lock it in position. You could just tighten up these handles underneath and uh, it's nice and stable. Obviously, you're gonna wanna loosen the handles if you wanna have it whatever firmness you want. Depending on what you're doing, if you need something different, I don't know. If we wanna put baby seat over here and we need more room, you know, you just push it aside. It just gives us a lot more options and flexibility. You know, the build took a little longer than expected because that piece of plywood is just sagging a little bit. So I wanted to kind of make that a little bit stronger. Now it's super strong. I think it looks clean. It looks nice. Yeah, that's it. Like always guys, thanks so much for watching. joining channel memberships if you want to grab some added perks it's a great way to support us above and beyond watching the videos liking commenting that is the number one we appreciate you guys so much see you on the next one